What's going on my friends? You're watching Spartan G Gaming. I am super happy that you've all just found a little bit of time in the day just to watch one of my videos. I can't thank you all enough. I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. So I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. You are all the best. Now this video I'm going to share with you today is all about the Combat Axe Kills 5 calling card where you need to get 300 Combat Axe Kills. That will take time guys. There's no doubts about that. It will happen over a period of time, but you will need practice with it, so don't worry to start with, but it will become easier the more you get into the kills. Now, you're going to get 3,000 XP as well, and you also get to unlock a very super cool looking calling card, so we'll share that with you at the end. Now, the clips are going to come thick and fast, guys. If you blink, you're going to miss these, but we're going to now do some sliced up, diced up action. We're going to start off with some single combat axe kills, and we've got plenty of them. Then we're going to move on to some revenge combat axe kills, Double combat axe kills if you want that chop house calling card. If you're struggling with that one, that will help. But also we're going to have some fun in getting some combat axe kill destructions on some score streaks with the HCXD. It will help you with the trick shot dark ops calling card. But also we're going to have a lot of fun in trying to take down a Talon with the combat axe. So that's all to come, guys. But now... You're going to see plenty of long shot combat axe kills, short kills, head kills with the combat axe. There's numerous um, combat axe kills you're going to see in these at the start of these video, guys. Now remember, I'm all about helping you. And if it's anything I can help with, guys, if you are struggling with the combat axe kills, is keep working it. Keep chucking that axe about. But remember, on core mode, you will have the aim in front of you. You've got to remember to treat the combat axe like a gun if you are using it. Try and anticipate as well where the enemy are coming from. If you play hard and keep playing, guys, you will eventually just work out and anticipate where the enemy are coming from. So just aim for that point. Okay, you've got to keep practicing a little while with the trajectory. The more farther you are away, then the more harder it becomes. But work that trajectory out, guys, the level and the height that you need. And again, you will start to get some absolutely awesome, wicked kills. You see in there, guys, the heights and levels that I'm chucking the axe. But remember, the great thing about using the combat axe as well is you can get some bank shots, which means even if you do miss with your first throw of the combat axe, don't worry. If you're somewhere close to a wall or a ceiling or a floor, it will bounce off and you can get an absolutely amazing bank shot combat axe kill sometimes. I've got plenty of them. I might leave you a link to them all, guys, if you want to see some lovely bank shots. But remember, if you watch my videos here where I'm guessing the single kills, they're all positions and the trajectory is all worked out to where I think the enemy are coming from. So use that, guys. On certain game modes as well, you know the enemy camp around. Especially on Safeguard, they normally keep down this end where the robot is, especially if you're getting down the end, and they camp in the corners. That's even easy for us, guys, because we haven't got to chuck it so far. We haven't got to get the trajectory. This is a good trajectory one here. I've anticipated the enemy coming down there because I see all my teammates down my end. So that's a lovely long shot trajectory combat kill. But you can get them the more you get into it, guys. Make it so easy. Now we're moving on to the revenge combat axe kills, which is nothing more rewarding than getting the revenge with the combat axe. So we've just died there, guys, while we were guarding our hard point point. So now we're going to jump up like a loony. We're going to know roughly where he is because he was going to take that corner where we were. And we got a beautiful combat axe revenge kill. Nothing more rewarding than that. But remember, guys, watch your kill cams back into where you think the enemy are going. You can actually see where they're going to sit down and you can actually get that combat axe kill quite easy. Now, this one is my personal favorite revenge combat axe kill. Again, we're playing hard point. We are guarding this point and protecting this point. We will die very, very shortly, okay? And then we're going after that revenge medal. But again, you've got to keep anticipating where the enemy are. It will really help you into knowing where roughly you need to place and chuck your um, combat axe. So for this case, I'm thinking, right, we know the enemy are in that room. That's where they've just got killed. We're going for that revenge medal. We know the enemy is still in there because the icon is red. So that proves the enemy had it. But look at that for a revenge medal, guys. We chucked it through the window and got that revenge medal. Awesome. Now we're moving on to some double combat axe kills. So this will help you with your calling card chop house. If you are struggling with this, what you need to do is get two kills with each separate combat axe, okay? That's pretty easy, guys. It will happen thick and fast, and you will get used to it. But I will leave a link to you now because I've made a video on this, and I've got more better clips as well to, into getting those double clips. So I'll leave it there, guys. I won't show any more, but watch that video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you are struggling now with your trick shot Dark Ops calling card, that's how you do it, guys. Again, I've got plenty more um, destructions of the HDs with Combat Axe, and I will leave a link to that if you are struggling with your Dark Ops trick shot challenge. 
So now we're moving on to have a little bit of play now, a little bit of fun with trying to destroy a Talon there with the Combat Axe. Now, as you saw there, I just hit the Talon. This will take about a couple of hits with the Combat Axe, guys, but you'll see me keep going back for it. Okay, I keep dying because the Talon keeps shooting me, but we're nearly close nearly every single time. But eventually we do get it, so I think it mainly takes about two hits with the Combat Axe. Again, we nearly got it there, but this is the moment we do take it down. Again, it's just getting the trajectory right, looking where your aim is, going for it, and then blowing it. It's nothing more rewarding than that, guys. It is actually amazing when you can do stuff like that. Now, we're coming to... Near enough the end um, of uh, the video clips where we've just kind of wasted out of all the combat axe kills. So luckily sometimes you can get the final kill cam in the end. I have got better ones than this, but this was just the first one in my archive that I saw, so I just thought I'd use this one. So just to see, you know, it's slowed down with a combat axe kill. And it, it is a very, very good clips to see when you do get on the final kill count with any axe. It would have been better with a headshot or anything like that. I have got some actually, but I just couldn't be bothered to find them in the archives. But, um... That's awesome when you do get your final kill cam with the combat. This is the calling card itself, guys. That's another one to add to the prestige lethal challenges. We've got the C4 kills to do, but look at that calling card, guys. It is really cool. It's like a buffed out rhino there. He's like, in a way, gone the color of the Hulk and the green. He's all buffed out. He's a raging rhino. That is a really cool one. I'm actually going to use that, I think, as my normal calling card from now on. But like I said, guys, keep working it. We'll get there. Now I've got a little surprise for you guys. I've left the best till last, so we speak. I've got two last clips I want to show you. So I'm going to slow these down in theatre mode so you can see these ones. These are two of my better ones. And we'll leave the best one until last. But this is one of my first good ones. So we're coming down this end of the map. I can't literally see where the enemy are, but again... I always say to people, if anything to help them, is try and anticipate where the enemy are. We know roughly where they are. Just take that pot shot, guys. Take that aim. And you never know. You might get a brilliant combat axe kill like this. Sometimes with a combat axe, when you know you got the kill from long distance, you might have to go back to theatre to actually watch it and see it. Because normally in front of you, you can't see it because you're too far away like this one here, which is why I had to slow it down. But it was quite a distance away. I have got longer. But again, I, you know, I'm not going to show you all of them. This one now, guys, the last clip is the best one of all. I just literally had the enemy coming in front of me. I took an aim at him. I did get the kill, but then I had to watch it back in theatre. When I watched it back in theatre, this is what we saw. This is my best combat axe kill ever, I think, okay? So it got, it got off that bank shot there. The combat axe hit that advertise and hoard him. You can see the enemy coming down now at the right time. My axe is flying through the air, but it's brilliant uh, footage, this, guys. And we get that bank shot combat skill. Wow, that's an awesome one, guys. I'd like you to leave me a clip and, and show me some um, uh, footage if you've got some, guys, and any ones that you have. I'd love to see some wicked combat uh, kills, so I love using them. I'm going to leave you plenty more clips and uh, links, guys, so you can watch more combat skills from myself. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.